Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Duarte here, coming at you live from the Charles F. Dodge Center here in Pembroke Pines, Florida, with another dose of Florida Grid League action. In today's match, the Daytona Venom and the Fort Lauderdale Lions take on Pikes Peak. The Lions will be sporting the black today, while the Venom sporting that fiery purple. Santaella and Rodriguez are off. We are opening up Pikes Peak with partner forward. One male, one female on the floor at a time. You're going to notice on this wide angle view, there's going to be one teammate in the hash marks on the outside of the grid floor while the other works. That is the only way those players can work. As Crenshaw finishes up those deadlifts and Cardona on the left side of his screen knocking out those dumbbell pistols. On partner forward, as these teams move further down the grid floor, the repetitions get lower in count. However, the movements, the elements will only get heavier, will only get tougher. As Crenshaw finishes up, here comes Cardona working on the deadlifts. They're now into quadrant number two. So they're going to perform seven deadlifts, 255 pounds for the men as Wood knocks him out. 155 pounds for the ladies. Crenshaw grabbing the barbell for the Venom. Cardona back to work on the dumbbell pistols. 40-pound dumbbell in the hand right now. Wood trying to make up ground. Just about, I would say, a five rep lead right now for the Fort Lauderdale Lions on the left hand side of your screen. As Emiliana Guerra trips up on one of them, but she looks to stay consistent on this. Again, extremely efficient in every aspect on the grid four for Guerra. As here come the Lions, they're going to go ahead and switch their players just as the Venom do. Marcos Medina on the bar for the Lions. Villalobos on the bar for the Venom. Knocking him out. Back over to Medina. Rose Scott right now. One of the veterans on this Venom team. A Venom team full of first year grid players. But some key veterans such as Robbie Rodriguez, Alex Alvarez, and Rose Scott. Now Rose Scott taking down those pistols for the Venom. As Marcos Medina finishes the first set of three deadlifts in that fourth and final quadrant. That was 365 pounds for Medina, 245 for the ladies. 70 pounds on that dumbbell. Here comes Rose Scott, right hand side of your screen. Final three pistols for the Lions. Can they open up this match with a race win? And the Lions do so. As Lavelli crosses over the finish line, again, on the grid floor, you get two points for a race win. As long as the other team completes the race underneath the allotted time, they're going to get one point. Should they not finish underneath that time, they'll get zero. Still early on in this match, plenty of time. We've got a total time of 2 minutes, 37 seconds for the Lions. Coming up on three minutes for the Venom, and they'll cross the finish line. Rose Scott with some attitude as she crosses over, fired up for this match. Now moving on to race number two, going into the mayor race. You're going to see three males, three females on the floor, and they are off. Again, three males, three females. The mayor, the males and females, we're going to mirror each other on the element. 40 hand cleans, 215 pounds for the men, 140 pounds for the ladies. You're also going to notice the teams working together. Again, teamwork, strategy coming into play as your other teammates work as human rats to help you move the barbell across the grid floor. That barbell touches the ground at any moment before all 40 repetitions are complete. The entire team must go back to the start line, return to the barbell, and then they can continue. And you can pretty much bet that you're going to lose that race. It's just too much ground to make up as the Lions right now pulling ahead in this race. Venom looking to change things up. Final few reps for Santaella. Going into that fourth and final quadrant, Marcos Medina looking to close it out. Final 10 repetitions of that hand clean. 
Venom racing forward. Plenty of time for them. Just about 48 seconds on that clock as the Lions are going to take race number two. Keeping it moving along. Two more points added to their lead. We'll see if the Venom can come through, collect their one point as they get into race three. Final rep for Rodriguez. Final rep. Venom. Cross that finish line. They'll take their one point with 28 seconds to spare. Going into race number three. Venom down by two. We're starting with that home ringer point race. So that home team right now will go on with picking it. You're going to have Rose Scott lined up for the Venom. Santaella lined up for the Lions. And we're going to start off with six double touches, followed by 12 hand cleans, 185 pounds for Santaella, 125 for Scott. Six double touches to start. Again, Rose Scott moving swiftly through this, but Santaella looking calm as possible. Can Rose Scott come through this and get the Venom back within one point? 125 on the bar for Scott, 185 for Santaella. Okay, they're moving way too fast to count for me. I'm just going to watch and wait for the first one across the finish line. And it looks like it's going to be Rose Scott bringing it home for the Venom. As Santa Ella crosses through, he'll get his one point. But as we go into our fourth race of the match, Venom come back within one. Lions lead five to four. Stand by. Going into race number four. We've got our ladder, and today's ladder, as you climb the ladder, meaning as you move down the grid floor, you're climbing in weight for whatever the element is on that respective race. On Pike's Peak, it's going to be a clean ladder. One repetition of a clean, however you can get it up to the shoulders, full lockout. Again, as you move down the grid floor, as you climb the ladder, weights get heavier. In each respective quadrant, you'll see those big numbers, if you get a successful lift in that box, you get that amount of points. So right now, as you come into that fourth box, fourth quadrant, on your right-hand side for the Venom, if he gets a successful lift, which he does, he's going to get four points for his team. You add it all up, you can get a total of 10 points per player if they clear the entire grid floor. Rose Scott, you just saw her on her 12 hand cleans, 125. This should be easy as pie for her. As she gets through two cleans, 180 was that last one. Rose Scott on that fourth and final one. Two, one, zero. 210 pounds for Rose Scott and the Venom. Back over to the Lions slide in the back. We're going to go split screen right now. In quadrant number two, 275 for the men. Working up to 300 pounds. Making it look easy. Onto that final barbell. Venom choosing to go at it. 325 pounds. Right hand side of your screen. Villalobos, 325. Boy, is he strong. Working it through right now. Again, as we go through the ladder, sometimes it's strategy. Should a player attempt all barbells? Can they attempt all barbells? Is it worth the time, right? Fresh as can be, you might be able to clean that 325 pounds or the 210 for the ladies. But after doing three cleans in a row and what we're at race number four right now, are you able to do it? Santa Ella coming to the test as does Robbie Rodriguez, the former Fort Lauderdale Lion for years. Trading jerseys, rocking the purple, going for 300 pounds. Robbie Rodriguez, easy. Robbie Rodriguez, 325. Can he do it? Rodriguez, woohoo! Making that look easy, just as Gana gets that fourth and final barbell as easy as Robbie did. Female for the Venom, male for the Lions, left hand side of your screen. Looking to clear the floor for the Venom. Can she do it? Ah! Can't quite get it up. Can the Lions do it? They're going to go for it. Lions male going for it. Number 14. 325. Can he stand it up? And he can't quite squeeze it all the way through. And right now, as the time goes down, 
You've seen most of the stronger athletes for each team go through the grid. Now you're getting the, the body weight specials or, or the utility players as they can get through this as fast as they can and squeeze out as many points as possible for their respective teams. Alyssa Martinez on the floor for the Venom. Eric Cardona, left-hand side of your screen for the Lions. Martinez squeezes it out. She's gonna go away, go through that finish line, try to get the next player through. He'll go for two. Cardona looking to do the same. Two, seven, five on the barbell. Venom get it. Cardona gets it. 300 for the Venom. And he stands it up. As the time expires, we're gonna total up the points and we'll get you a winner for that ladder in just a moment. As these teams recover, we're getting ready for ringer point race number two. But before that, as to scores have been totaled, winning the ladder by a final score of 76 to 69 with a bonus flag that was thrown. I must have missed it. The Daytona Venom take the ladder for a total of three points and go into the ringer point race with a one point lead. Venom lead the line seven to six. Going into the second ringer point race of the match. Again, handstand walk into one clean and jerk. Medina opening it up for the Lions. Again, they're gonna handstand walk two total quadrants and they get one clean and jerk. Marcos Medina making it look easy. Bang. What a showing by Medina. What a great showing from Sarah on the Venom. But Medina comes back and ties it all up. Eight apiece going into Jack and Jill. Again, earlier on, started the race off of partner forward. You saw male, female going into Jack and Jill. I mean, you can kind of tell male, female right here. Working as a team, you're going to see some waterfalls effect. I'll get into that in a second. As a team, three and a half minutes to complete. Five, 50 toes to bar, 30 muscle ups on the rings, five back uprises. That waterfall effect. One person goes, the following goes. One of the greatest strategies you'll see on the grid floor, greatest ways to make the most time up while getting reps complete. Again, this is teamwork, preparation, communication, all comes into play. If the, if the teammates do not mesh, it's, it's just not going to go well for them. Venom and Lions finish up at the same time. Rose Scott gets one rep in before the Lions get their first rep in. But as you can see, the Lions, Paula Leyes getting her signature butterfly muscle-ups. You saw them break YouTube. They broke Instagram. They broke TikTok. They broke the internet. And you see, and you see her breaking them out here on the grid floor on Jack and Jill. And you see Cardona doing the same, a former National Grid League player, former FGL MVP, doing work for the Lions. Here comes Alex Alvarez, body weight specialist for the Venom in the purple. Right hand side of your screen is Alvarez, left hand side of your screen is Cardona. Total of 30 ring muscle ups, followed by five back uprises. I'm interested in seeing who's going to do the uprises for each respective team. Because again, if it's Cardona, it looks like he's staying on the floor. He just did a lot of muscle ups right there. Is that going to affect him when it comes time for the back uprises? On Alvarez, the same goes for him. Or will Scott chime in for the back uprises? Looks like Alvarez is going to go off the floor. Looks like we got about nine reps left for the Venom. About three reps left for the Lions. A large time frame right now. For Cardona to shake it out. When he's ready to go, he's gonna jump right on there and get to work. Two reps down for Cardona. You can see him, the former gymnast, looking so swift and easy on these back uprises. Four more reps to go on the muscle ups for the Venom. Can Cardona keep it up? Throws himself off the rings, strikes the landing, and crosses the finish line with a minute to spare. One total minute here for the Venom, plenty of time. The goal trick here for them is not to waste any reps, and he's not doing it. He's making it look easy right now. He's getting that one point for the Venom, and he's gonna keep it a one-point match. 
excuse me, I just got word right now that the Lions actually threw their bonus flag. So it's going to be a two-point lead as we head into the first of the final three races. Lions lead 11-9 as we get started with the female triad. Triad. Try. You can, you can kind of guess where I'm going with this. You have three females on the floor, three elements at a time. Each element has its own respective amount of repetition. So right now, seven dumbbell burpee clusters, 30-pound dumbbells. Each set of dumbbells must, must have seven reps done at each set of dumbbells. Pretty simple. If one isn't done, any player can chime in. They can tag them out and finish up the reps at that certain station. But each station needs the certain amount of reps to be complete. Right now, 20 box jump overs, 24 inches. So 20 at the first one, 20 at the second, 20 at the third. You're going to see the strategy come into play where you'll have one at, one player who's a little bit faster than the other will finish up. And if, if that's just their thing, if that's their groove, they're going to go ahead and just finish up for their following players. So some players might do 30 total reps while some just do 10. All strategy, all done in weeks of preparation at practice. We're talking about practice. As these ladies chip away six pistol stick jump overs. So not only are you worrying about doing the pistol one-legged squat, you also got to jump over and stick the landing. Sticking the landing off these jump ropes too. Again, these curls making these, these rope climbs look easy. I said jump ropes. Not sure. You, gotta get, you can get where I'm going. You got to jump to get to the rope and then climb it. It, 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 all, it all just flows. It's flowing for me. As these ladies tackle on a total of four rope climbs at each rope, Lions look to be, have finished up and they're going to the fourth, excuse me, fifth and final element in the fourth and final quadrant. 15 cleans at 115 pounds. Now the eight, big lead working up here. These ladies just need to work smoothly, work efficiently and make no mistakes. And they're gonna take this race and they're gonna take a three-point lead into the final two races if they can finish this out. Lions cross the finish line. As long as the Venom finish the race, it'll be a 13-10 lead as the males take on the triad. As you see the whole team come over, cheer on their ladies. The Venom trying to finish up underneath that four-minute cap. Rose Scott is done. Alyssa Martinez is done. Final few reps here as Rose Scott takes over. Time is winding down with just about a minute to spare. Rose Scott will cross the finish line. And just like that, we got two races to go. Venom, Lions, ready. They are off. Again, I told you, the ladies took on the triad. The men are going to take on the triad. Right now, it's the same elements, just a little bit heavier. Seven dumbbell burpee clusters, 50 pounds for the men. Hands are up by our referees, letting us know we are almost done with this element. You got those 20 box jump overs coming up. You can tell those boxes are a little bit taller this time. 30 total inches as Cardona is off. On the Lions side, there's Alvarez running over to join Wood and Rodriguez. You see Venom coach Paul Bahar working his strategy. He's got his, his notepad, same for Jamie Gold. They've got a strategy into play. They're not just coming into this race and this match just working on a fly. Sometimes you got to adjust, you got to pivot. But for the most part, this has been practice. This has been worked through for weeks, days on end. The Lions men are on to the pistol stick jump overs. Six total reps. Slightly ahead of the Venom. As they are done, Cardona stays on the floor. Here comes Santaella. Alvarez stays on the floor, so does Wood. Can these men climb as fast as they can 
and get the Venom back into this race. If they can do this, this is gonna make that final sprint relay much more interesting. If not, the Lions can pretty much seal the match win with this race. So Cardona's rope is done and he's gonna finish up the final rep for his teammate. Santaella is gonna be done. He's gonna go ahead, make his way over to the fourth and final quadrant. He's getting set. As we got 15 cleans, 185 on the barbell. His partner is joining him over there. All three lion men chipping away at those cleans and getting that much closer to a race and match win. Smooth is fast, fast is smooth. As Robbie Rodriguez gets a hold of that barbell, trying to make as much ground. They might just be out of time here, but there's no giving up. You never, I've never seen, in my years of calling grid, I've never seen a team give up on a race, nor a match. They're gonna finish up strong, because again, it's not just about the match as the Lions cross the finish line. It, it, it's about the team culture, especially for the Venom, a brand new team, first season on the grid floor as a team. New players trying out grid for the first time, mixed in with veterans. It's about building a culture where there is no giving up and we come to fight each and every single match. And just like there's no giving up, Villalobos has gone hard this entire match. Rodriguez coming to pick up some slack and help his teammate out. They're gonna cross that finish line. They're gonna get their one point and they're gonna go into the sprint relay down four. Lions with 15, Venom with 11. And right now we're just gonna do this for fun. We're gonna see what we can get out of this sprint relay. If the Venom and Lions are gonna finish this race hard. We are off. Starting off the sprint relay. 20 deck to pistols, chest to the ground, landing in a below depth. One-legged squat, standing straight up at the top. On the sprint relay, you're gonna notice this. The player that finishes the final rep of an element will do perform a four-point touch, fingertips, toes behind the start line, and they're gonna sprint to the finish line. If, they, if the player crosses the finish line, they can no longer be used on the sprint relay. So you'll see some teams go, as you saw, 15 reps for Rose Scott, and then Alyssa Martinez will finish the final five. As you see, Emiliana Guerra first onto the Valor Fitness pull up rig, 16 toes to bar. Again, these, these ladies can't move any faster, they're moving as fast as humanly possible. As you can see, the, just the, the level of strength and flexibility and just just overall athleticism on the grid floor by each and every single one of these men and women lions going into quad two first to the third element 12 dumbbell thrusters 40 pounds you'll see the weight doesn't change on the sprint relay so another edge of the strategy is where do we use who and when as the Lions will finish up. Robbie Rodriguez, though, making up ground. He was about five reps down when he picked those dumbbells up, ends about one rep behind. And this could be it here, an, a window opening for the Venom to finish up with a race win here in this match. Rose Scott, Paula Leyes, two of the most athletic females on the grid floor, going rep for rep and a fault for Scott and the Venom as Leia's finishes up her muscle ups. So sprint towards the finish line and we're gonna have Marcos Medina put 53 pound kettlebells, one in each arm over his head and he's gonna lunge all the way down the grid floor across all four quadrants. Not only is this a strength thing, just a mobility, the mobility comes into play on, on multiple elements, but especially this one to hold those dumbbells overhead with locked out arms and lunge at the same exact time. It's core, it's hips, it's shoulder mobility. As Alex, Alex Alvarez shows us right now, 
it's really a whole package. Which both of these men showing off right here, right now, the Charles F. Dodge Center in Pembroke Pines, Florida. 10 burpee box jump overs, 24 inches as Alvarez goes through three quadrants as Paul Bahar cheers him on with four more reps to go on these deck to burpees, excuse me, deck, deck burpees, tomato, tomato, burpee box jump overs, as Lions will finish up and they have just two more elements to go to close out this match. They've done so already. The match is won. But again, we, we always want to finish up strong as we, as we near the end of the regular season and the playoffs are coming soon. Lions looking to make another playoff run as they have in years past. Venom hope to one day be able to, to, to do and have, and have done what the Lions have done already. They've played in multiple FGL championships. They've won FGL championships. And looking to do the same here in 2022. Final element for the Fort Lauderdale Lions. Two clean and jerks, 275 pounds. Here we go. And the Fort Lauderdale Lions go into the sprint relay. Already have won the match, but they are capping it off with a sprint relay win here in Pembroke Pines, Florida, as they take Pike's Peak. As we talked about earlier, never seen a team give up on a race, never seen a team give up on the, on the match, and the Venom aren't gonna start that trend. Final rep on that rope climb. They've got two clean and jerks. They're gonna cross that finish line, and they're gonna get their final point of the match. Four point touch, a sprint down. Ladies and gentlemen, this place is going bonkers right now. Again, the fans of the FGL are some of the best in the game. They may not have won, but they're gonna close it out strong. Final rep of Pike's Peak for the Venom. Easy money. He'll sprint down, he'll sprint back, and that is gonna close out match day. Oh, a slip up there at the end. He's got plenty of time. He's gonna close it out for both of these teams today. Lions come out on top with a total 18 to 12 as we close out Pike's Peak from the Charles F. Dodge Center here in Pembroke Pines, Florida. Alan Duarte signing off. We'll see you next time on The Grid.